All right, it's um, it's another afternoon, and uh, we have made the trek out to Kai Mau Mau. So this is the Runga Unu Harbour here, and um, we've come out here. I've got Jeff Force with me here. Hello, and. Uh, our plan today is to try and stick bait up some kingfish. All right, we've got Jeff here, and um, he's drawn first blood. He's got a nice little kingy here, and uh, he's just about to land it. Oh, bugger. He's going to have to tail it. Told you I'd have coming seven inch crop. You called it, all right. You called it. Leader him. Aye. Just lead. How big's your leader? Oh, you should be able to leader him. Leader and then tail, or thumb in the mouth. Thumb in the mouth. Yeah. Okay, I'm hooked up <laughs> on the stick bait. Oh yeah! Here he is. He's not a huge kingy. He'd be legal. But All right, um, we'll get this thick bait out of his mouth and get him back swimming again, eh? Alright, we've got a nice little school of fish here. I think the kingies are with them. It's a little bit hard to tell at the moment. But um, we're going to stand up and have a few casts with the old stick bait. And uh, if that doesn't work, we will look for a uh, live bait. Oh, got hooked up straight away. Dropped it. Oh, they're, they're eating. Come on. Yeah, got them. Okay. This is what we want. Nice little kawaii. Okay, we've finally got what we wanted. Nice little kawaii live bait. And uh, we can put them out on Top this. of the mouth here. Don't break your neck. Oh yeah, look, they're all over it. They're all over it. Look. That's gonna get eaten, man. That's gotta get eaten. The kingies are all over my live bait. Throw. Oh yes, eat it, eat it, eat it! You got it. Yeah, I got it! Yes! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> it got it alright! Get rid of that clicker! <laughs> oh yes! <laughs> I love this, this is good! I don't think it's a very big one, but... Oh, it spat it out. Oh, what do you reckon? <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of a bummer. Never mind. We know to come here a little bit earlier in the tide next time. Yeah, that bank is pretty impressive with all the bait fish on there. So that's us, we're back in. So uh, tomorrow we are heading out somewhere in the search of big fish. See you then. Uh. Alright, my live bait's just been taken and this is going to be a good king. He's a bloody good one, I'd say. Wait, what? This doesn't make any sense. Stop! Alright guys, I seem to have lost a little bit of footage so 
It's now the next day. We've made our way to the big fish spot. We're going to call it Spot X. And we've launched. I've managed to get a kawai, put it out as a live bait. And as you've just seen, it's just been eaten by a kingfish. Okay, hooked up on a kingfish. Well, I hope it's a kingfish. I hope it's not a shark. But there was definitely another king with it. And uh, this feels like quite a good fish. Oh, oh no, he's in the reef. Oh no. My other rod's out. I can't do much about that. Jeff, yeah. I might need your help. I think I'm wrapped around my prop with my stick bait line. And look where I'm going. Oh, he's a good fish, I can see him. He's a bloody good fish. Oh, I'm, I've got leader, shit. I might be alright if I can get him in. I'm gonna try to. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Yeah, it just got caught, f*** it all. Jeff, can you come and just take my bow line and tow me out of here? Okay, cut, cut, cut. I'll have some drive. Oh, yes. Hang up. Yeah. Okay, I just dropped the little uh, Jigging Master Diamond Eye Micro Jig. And uh, just on a little school I saw, and um, we hooked up on what looks like a pretty reasonable fish, and I think probably going to be a snapper. But... Yeah, we're going to keep this fish because we're going to keep a few today. So that is beauty with the uh, diamond eye jig right in, its, right in its mouth there. Okay, so we've got a nice little lump on the sounder here of fish, and uh, we've just dropped on it. So we'll just hit the bottom. We're just gonna work this jig up nice and slowly, and uh, hopefully we're gonna hook up again. Yep, got him. And here comes the thing, oh yes, here we are. Another snapper, pretty much the same size as the last one. Look at that. Beautiful. There's that diamond eye jig in its mouth. I just got smacked really hard and dropped it and dropped back down and um, yeah, hooked up now. now. It's not really doing anything, so I'm wondering whether it's a barracuda to be oh, honest. Wow! <laughs> It's a big scorpion fish. Well, look at that. Even, scorp even scorpion fish love the little diamond eyes. That certainly wasn't what whacked me with water. Oh, come on, guy. There we are. That certainly wasn't uh, what whacked me middle water, but um, he, he liked that little diamond eye. Oh, well, he can go back. <laughs> cool. There's some sign here that looks a lot like kingfish. We'll drop this down. They're following it down too. I don't know if you can see that on there. Well, that's kingfish. Oh yes, I'm hooked up. Then here we go. What are you doing? What's this? It's got to be a kingy. It just hasn't fought yet. Oh, it's, t it's towing. Oh, what's that over there? I can see it in the water. It's a kingy, all right. Yeah, I've got a, holy heck, you want to see the, oh no, it's only a little one. Oh, I thought there was a real big one under it, but it's not. Oh, they fight hard in this current. They fight really hard in this current. It just goes to show you, he's not even really gonna be a legal 
legal fish and um, in this current he's got plenty of power and he's able to use it to his advantage but yeah he's only a he's a real little rat but uh, took that little jig we'll put him back once we get this damn thing out okay there you go awesome we've just passed over a really good piece of sign here so um let's get ourselves facing into the current flick that out oh that was a bit of a mess but never mind turn our camera on okay let's see what happens here i think i got smacked on the way down look i'm getting bitten there we go on the drop it's probably eating it yep straight away I don't know what this is oh oh I think this is a better fish too oh this is a good one this is gonna be a big one this is gonna be the big one this just shows the importance of using your sounder you know like I, I, I've not come to this area really before I just saw such a good school um, knew there had to be something hanging around it and uh, this was here I still haven't seen what this is but I'm I'm pretty confident this is going to be a, a really big a lot boy. closer now oh yeah he's a big boy snapper all right looks like there's a kingy following him yep okay we're trying to trying to let him release his air but I don't think he's going to damn it oh look at that oh, ha, 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 ha. Aha! Get him in the Get him in the kayak here. Okay. Oh he's a big fish. Oh man, look at that mouth. Wow. Look, there's that diamond eye right in its mouth. <laughs> oh man. This is awesome. And uh, we will just to give him a quick measure. We know it's 80 along there. He's 80 centimeters long. Which he, yep, yep, he'll be 80 long. He feels pretty full, so I don't know whether he's going to go back, but we'll try him. Let's get this out and uh, put him back in the water if we can. We'll try and spear him down. Come on, buddy, spear him down. Mm. It's not looking good, is it? I had a feeling when he popped up and the way he popped up and floated on his um, with his belly in the air that he wasn't going to go back. Ah, what a disappointment. I would have really liked to put that fish back. Um, I guess at least now we're going to know okay, what it weighs. So Jeff's hooked up here. We don't know what to yet. He's thinking snapper, but oh yeah, yeah. It's all right, I'm turning off. Oh, he's hooked up. I was going to turn off, but he's got a snapper on. I can see it down there. Yep. Blow. It might blow. Looks like a reasonable snapper too. Looks like a very reasonable snapper. No, he's right under you, man. Nah, he's crushed, man. Oh. I think to a certain degree, when you see that gut thing come, or when you see that big thing coming up their mouth, yeah. it's gonna have crushed all their organs and that anyway. He won't be wasted. No. Oh, look at that! Nice, nice fat snapper on a jig, and I think what we'll do is we'll get the camera out and get a photo of that. This is a nice colour. He is, eh? He's a beauty. Jeff, the killer's hooked up again. And uh, we're thinking this is going to be a really big snapper. He's a snapper, all right. I can see him. Is that big one? Yeah. He's not, he's not massive, massive, but he's popped. <laughs> he's not massive, massive. He's still big. He's still big. Look at that. 
back at home. Pretty mean day in the water. Um, we weighed the fish. My kingy weighed about 15 kilos. My snapper here, we've just weighed at 8 kilos, so it didn't quite make the 20 pound, about 18. Um, it was a good day, really good day. So we're going out again tomorrow, and uh, we'll see you then. Okay, day three, Jeff's still here. <laughs> I haven't worn him out yet. Ah, mate. Not yet. Anyway, we're um, coming out today, um, and we're coming down here. So that's Flat Island and the Cavalli Islands group in the distance. We're going to launch down here, target for today. I'm going to have a dive for some crayfish. I actually haven't even bought any fishing gear. We sort of caught enough fish yesterday. <laughs> and um, Jeff's going to target a few different species, see if he can pull a blue cod, and maybe a John Dory. And, Bit of stuff like that, basically anything but snapper. Anything <laughs> but snapper, right? Hawking fish. Hawking fish, yeah. I think we've got enough of that. Alright, we're uh, all geared up for our first spot. Gonna hop in this water here, doesn't look too bad actually. Plenty of salt here. Um, but that's good because the salt cleans up the water. So uh, we're gonna hop in and see what we find here. It wasn't long before I found the first candidate. A nice little cray tucked up in a hole. A quick grab and I had him. On the measure it was legal so in the bag it went. Soon became apparent to me that there were plenty of crayfish. They were scattered throughout the area in ones and twos, but I was on fire and I was catching just about everything I saw. numbers started to add up and before long I had five in the bag. five crayfish already we only need one more and we've got our limit but uh we're gonna go up to the next spot and see what we can find up there all right we're back out of the water ready to um, get back to the beach now i just got one more cray in that second spot and um saw a stack of big snapper seems to be plenty of them there i shot at one and missed it i, I don't know whether you would have seen that by now or not but um but uh, I would have seen maybe six or seven big snapper in that spot, so um, yeah. Obviously just in there sunning themselves. It's a really nice sunny, clear, clear day, but um, anyway, we'll um, get back to the beach and we'll see how right, Jeff's back at the beach. Um, damn, hot pedal back. It's hot as. Jeff's just made it back as well. How'd you go, Jeff? What'd you get? Oh, I managed to get a decent snapper and a uh, kingfish. Yeah, what sort of size? Of oh, snapper's about this size. Oh. I got some photos of it and a kingy is probably about nine kilo. Bloody awesome. So it's pretty good. Awesome. Yeah, and I've just got me six crays in my bag over here. So, um, 
here. Bloody awesome feed. So that's pretty much us for this little three day uh, bike fishing bender. Look forward to the next one. Yeah, so uh, we'll see you in the next one, eh? Cheers, guys. See ya.